great mentor. Um, it's really, it was really good of him to give up his time for that week, and yeah, it's a pleasure, really. Did you sense greatness when he was teaching you? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, it was really professional about how he conducted himself around the table and just his attitude about the game. Can you tell us about the game he played to win that Champion of the World title? Yeah, he, um, he played against a fellow, Graham Dot, and he led 13-12 um, into the last session, and he's managed to win 17-18-13 uh, in the end to win the world title. And it's definitely his biggest win so far, and yeah, he's really, really, it will really help snooker in Australia. As a snooker player and a, a champion at that, how impressive was the game? Oh, it was, it was, it was very impressive. The standard of the of the play was absolute top quality, one of the best finals we've had for years, and it's, yeah, it's great to see an Australian really in the final. It is indeed, Sean. When did you take up a pool cue? Um, when I was fourteen. And why was it that you wanted to give pool a go, or snooker? Um, my father introduced me. Um, he's been playing all his life, and as soon as I picked up the cue, it was just um, natural, really. I had an eye for a ball, and I've been playing ever since. Does it take a, a lot of practice to be a, a snooker champion like you are at the moment, the under-21 snooker champion for Australia? Yeah, it does. Um, you've got to be playing all the time. Um, nearly every day, you've got to be on the table, and a lot of hard work, you can really achieve what you want. You play at both the SSNA and the commercial club. Is it a popular sport? It is in the Aubrey region. Um, when you look at Melbourne and Sydney, um, we've still got 12 tables in Aubrey and a lot of the clubs in Sydney and Melbourne are losing tables, which is a shame. Um, yeah, it'd be really good if Neil's win could really get a lot of juniors playing. So there's still a, a lot of older people playing pool, but not a lot of juniors coming through? Yep, that's right. And you're due to compete in the World Championships at Dubai in August. How do you rate your chances? Not too bad, I suppose. Um, there's a lot of good players coming out of China, um, England, around the UK, and Britain. Um, there's three players from Australia that are going to represent, and we're all hoping we do really well. Yeah, we hope you do really well as well. Let us know how you go, and uh, are there any plans to catch up with Neil between now and then? Uh, yep, um, around June... Um, he's gonna. He's, he should be over in Australia, competing in the city of Melbourne, and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll should be able to catch up with him then. Maybe get a few more tips. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Had to steady your nerves when you're going for a grand title like you are in August. Yeah. Good on you. Thanks, Sean. Thank you very much.